So hello and welcome to today's video. Now recently some of you may know that the Steam controller was on sale for about $5 or so and of course I bought one only for about £4. And some of you have actually said that the Steam controller doesn't actually work with like certain games. Buddy is one of them. Of course me being a Buddy Center channel I'm going to show you today how to get this controller working on Buddy. So once you've got your controller fully set up and installed properly turn the controller on then go to big picture mode then go all the way to settings and scroll down to controller settings and then make sure Xbox configuration support is enabled because Buddy only supports the Xbox controllers just checking PlayStation or Switch Pro isn't going to work I should also point out that this will work with um, well should work should I say for other games that only support a specific controller. So um, yeah, you might want to sort of mess around with that for a bit. But of course, if you're doing this just for Buddy, Xbox configuration support is the only one you need. So once you've done that, you can exit out of big picture mode and um, then just start Buddy up as you would normally. Now uh, for this, what I'm going to do is I record a little bit of my phone so you know you can sort of see that this actually works. And um, yeah, so now what we need to do is just start Bully up as we would normally. So obviously I'm using the Reshared and Anniversary Edition hood mod so my screen looks a bit different to what yours should look like and um, yeah let's just skip this. Let me just turn the main menu down and you'll see that when Bully starts up it should say config loaded gamepad at the bottom. Now this should be the sign that this works. So um, now what we're going to do is just sort of like show you left, right, you know just quickly go to video settings I don't know why shadows and that's turned off but um, yeah so yeah just load up story mode as you would normally now for some people you may not actually see this like come up right away and um, one sec let me just jump cut so I apologize for that jump cut then I had to sort of like get rid of the um, super mod thing anyway if your steam controller doesn't work right away and you're still stuck using the keyboard and mouse uh, you might need to enable it through controller settings so just pause the game go down to controls Go to Xbox 360 compatible and if it says disabled, change it to enabled and then of course your Steam controller should work normally. Now of course there are just one or two differences with the um, sort of like input because the Steam controller isn't your typical controller. To sort of move the camera around you now have to use this part here. Now this will take some getting used to because like, um, yeah, like I said it's not your typical sort of like um, camera input really. So yeah, this definitely will take some getting used to. And it may make some missions like The Candidate or um, Wrong Part of Town just a little bit more difficult, especially when you're a first time user. Now of course this over here is your D-pad, which will, in my case, bring up the super mod menu, but for everybody else, it'll just tell you what tasks you've got available. There are two other triggers on the back of the Steam controller, which for some reason, well, one of them just makes Jimmy punch and the other one doesn't do anything. Of course they're not important, so yeah, you can just play Buddy as you would normally. So that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more body based content and that, if you want to support me in a more personal way consider donating to me on Patreon or becoming a member of my channel. Let's just put Jimmy to bed, so thank you for watching and have a great day.